Although August is nearing its calendar end, the influence of the macroeconomic and political news issued this month will persist in September. This is particularly true for the inflation reports in the United States and the Eurozone, which are published at the end of the month. Notably, recession fears in the US forced investors to avoid risky assets amid weak data issued at the beginning of August. The revised US GDP figures released yesterday have become the driving force. Contrary to predictions, the US GDP growth totaled 3% in the second quarter. The better-than-expected macroeconomic data has restored investors' confidence in the remarkable resilience uh, of the U.S. economy. As a result, the greenback strengthened and the U.S. Treasury yields rose. Given that strong macroeconomic data rules out the possibility of an aggressive rate cut by the Fed Reserve, the U.S. dollar received a slight boost from this hawkish outlook. After rising overnight, the U.S. currency opened the trading day on a Friday within the stable range of 101.20 and 101.40 points. Moreover, the U.S. dollar is supposed to break a five-week losing streak against a basket of six major currencies. And and the American session on an uh, upswing. If a gain of around 0.7% is confirmed, this week will be its best since early April. However, the US dollar has every chance to close this uh, trading month with a decline of about 2.5%, which would be its worst performance since last November. By the way, November 2024 could become a significant period for the Chinese Yuan, with the US interest rate cut approaching corporate demand for the Chinese currency is a surgeon. Analysts do not even rule out the possibility of a rush currency exchange in the short term. This could lead to further strengthening of the yuan's exchange rate. Overall, the yuan is expected to gain about 2% in the spot market in August. On a Friday, the Chinese currency reached a two months high, setting the stage for its biggest monthly surge since last November. The steady growth and the resilience of the world's largest economy have rekindled investors' interest in the U.S. stocks. As a result, despite the drop in global tech stocks, Wall Street is experiencing gains. The S&P 500 index also maintains bullish momentum, trading within the range of 5,583 and 5,647 points. In addition, the Eurozone consumer price data allies will also be on the US inflation data today. The core personal consumption expenditures PCE price index is expected to rise from a 2.6% in June to 2.7 in July. A stronger than expected reading could boost the demand for the US dollar. Whether US data can outperform that of the euro area remains to be seen. Meanwhile, market participants have already received consumer inflation statistics from the, across Europe, including France, Italy and the euro area as a well. whole. In France, inflation slowed to 1.9% in August, while in Italy it decreased to 1.1%. The Eurozone's inflation rate fell to 2.2% in August from a 2.6% in July. The core inflation rate, excluding volatile items, stood at a 2.8% on a year-on-year basis. Notably, all of today's inflation figures are in line with the preliminary forecast, a clear testament to the European Central Bank's ability to keep a firm grip of the Eurozone's economic pulse. In Europe, things are going as planned with a euro USD pack continuing to trade in a tight range below the 1.11 overall mark, while the US dollar clings to herbs over rebound at the end of last cluster months, its transatlantic counterpart is experiencing a correction that has now reached a around 1.3%. The euro-dollar pair has tested the upper boundary of the 1.10 double and 1.1050 psychological area. 
At this stage, the correction phase remains intact, and a technical analysis suggested that this psychological level could act as a potential support area. Therefore, selling pressure might begin to ease from this area. However, despite the ongoing correction, there has been no shift in trade and in interest. Thus, our analysts continue to view the medium-term trend for the euro as bullish. Rent crude is poised for its second straight monthly decline, with the demand concerns remaining the main driving factor. Recent downward revisions to oil forecast by major banks have added to the pressure. And this analysis cites economic challenges in the key markets, changes uh, in vehicle fleets and sluggish production, ongoing concerns about an economic slowdown in China, a major global oil consumer are particularly pronounced. Forecasts suggest that China's recovery will fall short of uh, growth targets. However, yesterday's strong US GDP growth data somewhat eased the gloomy outlook. Still, this had a limited impact on the brand sales. The European crude benchmark tested the $77 per barrel level before pouring some of its early losses. The analysis of price dynamics in August suggests that there is more potential for further losses than for gains. However, it's important to note that this conclusion is based on a technical analysis and does not take into account the impact of a market sentiment on pricing. While the US dollar has shown broad weakness against six major global currencies, it has gained about 8% against the Russian ruble over the months of August. Although the Moscow exchange held a trading in the United States dollars on June 13, Market sentiment remained bullish through the end of the summer. However, as the months draws to close, the dollar-ruble pair has settled into a sideways range of 91.00 and 92.50, indicating a consolidation phase. For further growth in the volume of long positions, the dollar needs to stay firm above the resistance level of 92.5 rubles. Otherwise, the current stagnation might persist for a while longer. You have watched the market review on the InstaForex TV channel. We wish you profitable trading and have a nice weekend. And subscribe to our channel and follow news with us. See you on Monday. August 30 marks a point where currencies once again show that stability is an illusion and change is the only constant.